Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today I'm going to explain to you how I plex my account and how I basically am able to play EVE Online, a subscription based game for completely free or, or, or not without having to pay any money. I do have to pay a bit of my time but uh, I don't pay any real money. Uh, the way I do this is actually by doing various different activities and first off something that is important to understand that if you are not such a like if, or if you are a new player or you're not such an experienced player like you have to as EVE Online goes on you become more and more skilled with your skill points and you become able to do more things better so in the beginning you won't be able to do as many things as for example me who's been playing the game for five years so in the beginning it becomes quite a bit of a grind to be able to do this so I strongly not recommend you attempting to get the Omega subscription for free or Plex in your account um, by in-game activities in the beginning because it will really burn you out unless you figure out some smart way for, through market market trading or something but uh, i initially bought like with real money or mega time but then as time went on i became really i'm a lot better when it comes to my skill points and i was able to earn that in game so what kind of activities do i do well i do a variety of activities there are multiple ones that you could say they're kind of like two two main activities I would do. So the the number one is Abyssal Dead Space. You see all the time I post these videos of Abyssal Dead Space running. I think it's a pretty interesting activity. You can find out a little bit about it here, but mainly on my channel, I post a ton of videos when it comes to Abyssal Dead Space, how to run them and how I actually farm them. So I run the tier five Abyssal Dead Space running. And if we go into the market, we can see the different types here. So if I, if I go here, there's different tiers and I run the T5 Chaotix. They're actually pretty, pretty damn good right here. Uh, and they actually give me about 250 million ISK an hour. So that is quite decent when it comes to how much to ISK you get in a short amount of time to get a month subscription by Plex at this time, the point in time I'm making the video. So if we were to buy 500, that would be 1.4 billion. So if we were to divide, divide it by 250 million, that would be about like, how much would that be? Like uh, five and a half hours of grinding. And uh, I probably, I, would, I usually would split that off uh, a long time because doing that all at once can be very tiresome. Even it, that can even cause a burnout doing it all at once. But then, you know, sometimes I do a few abyssal dead space sites here and there, here and there. And usually I'll be able to uh, get the subscription very quickly. In fact, uh, at one point in time, uh, you can actually, I actually got so many of these uh, 500 plex subscriptions in uh, one weekend because i got a lucky drop the thing with abyssal dead space i say that it earns 250 million isk an hour but you can actually be lucky sometimes you can get these like skill books like uh, these guys used to be a lot more expensive if we go here small disintegration specialization skill book these could uh, these can still drop in abyssal dead space and you can see here just one of these 500 mil just straight up one third of your subscription gone like that uh, so that's how i would do it and then the secondary the way i earn the isk to get so this is the primary way so i have this like the abyssal dead space running is my main way to just actively earn isk to get this then if i go into uh, my secondary way which is actually called pi planetary interaction so i have these two alts if we go here on my alt accounts into and my the character screen these two guys here they are in nullsec corporation and the, it's the same corporation that my main account is in the thing is this corporation that i'm in brave empire they have no structures so they can't be war declarable so that's why you see that i'm mainly doing stuff in high sec but i don't worry about war decks because these guys have not got any structures to be able to be war declarable but they are allied to the brave collective which is a big nullsec alliance so i'm able to go into nullsec without being attacked by people so they've been marked as blue or i'm marked as blue these guys they're here they have uh, planets so if we go into one of them they have planets and they've basically got factories there which produce items and by doing this each week i earn about maybe 150 million uh, if i can also do it on my main account my ac facey account and then it'll become about 250 230 million if i do all three but right now i only do on two of the accounts because uh, it becomes i can't be bothered this no no this is just a little bit too much work for me <laughs> so i then go on these planets here and then i would just uh, activate these extraction units 
every 48 hours just it's just a double click here and then what will happen is is that i'll collect resources and these factories here will produce items and then this advanced factory will use those items produced and produce an advanced component and i'll put it into this storage bay here and it's producing consumer electronics and you can see here that these consumer electronics are worth 12 million that in this one planet i've got six planets right here so i'd say on average maybe with just these two accounts that i use or two characters i use then uh, i get about maybe 150 million a week so then you times that by four that'll be about 600 million a week if i were to use ac facey my main account as well it would maybe go up to almost one bill maybe 800 mil a month so uh that is uh, how much I would earn almost like passively. Like it's a very passive activity. All I do is just log in, as I showed you before, just double click those extractors uh, every every day or every two days. And then I get, uh, I, I just collect the ISK with a hauling ship. And then I'm able to uh, just sell that to my corporation that I'm in because they buy these materials. And then I get that ISK. So if you count on top of it, my PI stuff. So let's just say I would add 600 million a month that is already going to give me at an advantage so i'll be there able to get uh, the subscription just with 800 million 800 million then divided by 250 million an hour that is just uh, like, like three and a half hours maybe less than even that uh, so that'll be pretty quickly and that's assuming i don't even get any lucky drop like if i get a lucky drop like one of those uh, you know those small disintegrator specializations that i showed you here and then they're basically just one or two hours and then i've already got the subscription done the thing is when it's important when it comes to this grinding stuff here like even then i'm doing the abyssal dead space it's still a few hours of doing something and if you do something like this like purely for isk it can still be quite boring you know if it's just an activity just for isk uh, then it can be quite boring so that's why i think it's quite important to find something you enjoy like uh, I'm, i know a lot of people they do a lot of exploration not just because of the isk but also because it's quite like intensive and fun activity to do because uh, i mean the abyssal dead space running is quite fun like it, do, it does quite get sometimes monotonous if I do many hours of abyssal dead space running in my uh, gila which is the ship i use to do it in but uh, the this ship here uh, and doing it is still pretty fun and also it's just in general abyssal dead space is quite an interactive activity and it's always quite like fun to just see oh, what did the loot drop get what's your loot drop get? and then i always like i like to talk to my uh, my friends sometimes when doing this and it's just it's not like i do it just for this like obviously that is a main thing but there's also like it also has to be a bit fun otherwise you're just gonna get really bored and it'll just feel like eve is a second job to get that subscription so that's why i feel like if you want to get the subscription you and how i personally do is that you find an activity you enjoy so in this case for me abyssal dead space then it has to be quite a profitable activity otherwise uh, unless it is really really fun that you do it so much so then i think that abyssal dead space running t5 running is very very profitable uh 250 million now then I get the, uh, and then I think it's pretty fun. Then on top of that, I have the PI stuff, which is basically like hardly any work at all. I just do a few clicks every two or one or two days. Then I get on top of that, almost like half the description or one third of the description, the subscription or already done. So that's pretty much how I, uh, how I earn my ISK and how I would then uh, plex my account every month. Like from time to time, I do these like events. Sometimes I do missions, like you know, these in-game events like Crimson Harvest. Uh, all these different types of Triglavian invasion but it's mainly abyssal dead space which is like my hard in uh, income when it comes to uh, like you know uh, getting isk so those are the two ways pi and uh, abyssal dead space running that's what i do to get my subscription and if you guys are watching this and you do earn your subscription in game let me know what you guys do i'm curious to know what you do to earn your subscription in game that's it for this little video right here going over how i earn my plex to subscribe my account every month Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you found it interesting, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.